So I'm going to share with you three of the big secrets that will be taught in the stand-up workshop to make your stand-up material solid, make it super strong. These are just a few of the things that I teach in the workshop that's coming up on uh, starting this Thursday, October 12th. And I'm always asked, well, what's taught in the class and what, what goes on in there and can you make somebody be funny and on and on and on. So yeah, I can teach you how to be funny on stage. I can't make you a funny person in life, but I can definitely make you a funny person on stage because there is a structure that all comics use, whether they know it or not. There's a lot of things professional comics, headliners are using all the time to make their material much better. So here are the big three secrets. Uh, again, uh, quite a few. The first one, here's number one, you gotta keep it short. So the rule in the class is setup should always be 30 words or less. 30 words or less. Now, why is that the magic number? Well, most people talk at a rate of about two words per second. It's a pretty simple way to measure it. And when you're on stage, you wanna try and get as many laughs as you possibly can. The whole time you're on stage, you wanna get the audience laughing quickly and keep them laughing consistently. So there's a rule that gets tossed around a lot that you know you should try and get five laughs per minute on stage, four or five laughs per minute on stage, and that's great, but I found a much better way rather than being so obsessive about that is if you keep your setups to about 30 words, and again, everyone speaks at a rate of about two words per second, that's gonna keep your setups to around 15 seconds. If you talk a little bit faster, around 12 seconds, and that's gonna measure out to be every 12 to 15 seconds is about five laughs a minute. So in the workshop, one of the things we talk about is you gotta have a script and you actually sit there and, and you can count. I mean, you don't wanna be that obsessed all the time. You'll begin to get the feeling for it. But every 15 seconds, 12 to 15 seconds, or every 30 words, you should be making the audience laugh. Now, one of the things that will often come up about that is, well, I'm a storyteller and I, don't, I need time and I want to build. Hey, storytelling on stage is great if you get about five laughs a minute. If you're not doing that, you're not doing stand-up, you're doing like a humorous presentation or a one-person show, it's not stand-up. It's not gonna get you booked, it's not gonna make you stand out. So, again, rule number one, keep your setups to 30 words or less. That's a big secret, it's gonna automatically make your material much tighter. The second one, here's rule number two. Again, one of many. Now, I believe that there's five ingredients that make a great setup, and we cover those in the class. I'm just gonna give you a couple of them right now. So the second one is be specific. You've got to be specific. When an audience is sitting there and they're hearing all these things that you're saying, one of the things that often happens, I can't tell you how often this happens, the comedian gives way too much information. They tell so many things going on and the audience just loses focus. Most of the time when we fix uh, material in the class, we're fixing the setup and the thing we're fixing is be specific. Narrow it down. Make sure the joke is just about one thing. Don't make it about five different things. I was at my family reunion and everyone was drinking and my uncle was drunk. But the th point of this joke is about my, my cousin's dog. Dude, that's just so much information. It should just be my cousin brings her poodle to the family reunions or I hate this poodle that I always see at family reunions. I mean, getting that down as close as you can. So we're always trying to be specific. So the way we do this is we always try and knock out vague concepts or vague words. Like, for example, you don't say a dog, you say a poodle. You don't say an old car, you say a brown Kia, a 2004 brown Kia. It's instantly gonna create an image in someone's mind. And also, comedy, so much of it is finding funny words. Vague words are never funny, never. But if you can find specific words, you're gonna be much more likely to find funny words. So, uh, the third, Big secret, and this is the one, again, of my five ingredients that I teach in the class. This one is probably the second most important one. It's be personal. Now, what does that mean? Well, a lot of comics, when they get on stage, they wanna talk about what they think is funny, and they wanna talk about the world in general. And the problem with that is, it, you end up sounding very generic, or you think you're funny, and you wanna talk about these funny things, and an audience doesn't agree. So if you are personal, and what I mean by that is if you're talking about these things that I call coming from a position of authority, position of authority is so important. And that means it's something you've experienced, something you are an authority on. So one of the examples I always give in class is, if you've never been married, don't talk about marriage. You can talk about how you're afraid of getting married or how you have a crazy married friend or you have, you know, you, whatever, it's about marriage, but unless you've been married, you don't really have the authority to talk about it. So you wanna make sure that you're always talking about what's personal for you. What have you experienced? 
An example is everyone's gone through a breakup because their uh, mate has been cheating on them. Almost everybody, right? So if you get on stage and you just talk about that in general terms, audiences have heard that. There's no surprise factor and the material is probably kind of boring. But what is your personal experience? What has happened to you personally when you had your breakup? For example, it may be that your, spe your uh, mate was cheating on you and come to find out they were cheating with their boss and their boss worked at Taco Bueno. And the reason they were cheating with their boss was they were trying to get better shifts. They weren't really attracted to the person, they just knew if they slept with them, they'd get better shifts. Now, that's a lot different than, hey, breakups are hard, right? When your spouse, when your mate is cheating on you, it's no, 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 no. You know what's hard about breaking up is when you're, you find out the person's cheating on you because they're trying to get the lunch shift at Taco Bueno. That's gonna be a much more personal situation and the audience is gonna remember you. And the reason being personal is so incredibly important is, in stand-up, you wanna be different from everybody else. You wanna be the same in a lot of ways, but you wanna be different. How do you get different? Well, you can be strange and bizarre and you can go on stage and you can make vacuum cleaner bags into puppets or you can try and, you know, talk in these weird alien voices and do all this bizarre stuff and the, the audience just can't connect with you. Or you can tell your personal, personal secrets, what's really going on in your life and that's what sets you apart from everybody else, being personal. So, the three big secrets, once again, keep your setup short, 30 words or less is a great number to kind of shoot for. Uh, the second one is you always want to make sure that you're very specific. Label things. Label, label, label. You didn't go eat at a fast food place. You went and ate at an Arby's. By being specific, it creates images in people's minds. And the third one is be as personal as you can. Talk about what you have experienced. That's what's going to set you apart. But also, it's going to be universal experiences that everyone can relate to. So these are just three of many, many things that we talk about in the workshop. I just wanted to give away three big ones today. So if you're interested in the stand-up workshop, it's starting this Thursday, October 12th. It'll be 6.30 to 9.30. It's going to meet every Thursday for eight weeks in a row. We're skipping Thanksgiving. And then we're going to do a showcase at the Addison Improv. And in the workshop, you are going to put together a set of material. Everyone in the class gets about seven minutes of stage time. We're going to create a lot more material than that. You're going to pick the best of the best, and it's going to be in the show at the Addison Improv. So you're interested, let me know. You can message me. Um, here on Facebook is always great. Let me give my number. It's 888-884-8028. Again, 888-884-8028. 884-8028. Give me a call. I know we're kind of getting close to that big launch date on Thursday, October 12th, but if you're interested, I still have a couple spaces left, and that's why I'm trying to push this, letting people know what's going on in the class. Love to see you there. Get a hold of me. Let's make that stand-up thing you've always wanted to do a reality, and I'll see you there.